starting lineup for St. Peter Marion. Goalie, number one, Tyler Letterman. And defense, number 22, Drew Nunamak. And defense, number 12, Michael Kluge. And left wing, number 16, Matt Nozion. At center, number 14, Chris Elaine. And right wing, number 8, Connor Donahue. And the rest of the St. Peter Marion team. The Brockton Boxers, you got number 22, goalie Ryan Spano. Gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome into AZF Arena for today's matchup. It's the St. Peter Marion Guardians against the Brockton Boxers. As always, it's gonna be a barn burner. The starting goal is for the Guardians. It's number one, Tyler Ledoux. He's got a stellar record. He's played in just about 14 complete games, 41 periods. He's got 88 goals against. That's good for an average of 6.44 and a save percentage of 867. A change for the Brockton Boxers. Nathan Petty has been removed as the starter. Starting today, it's Ryan Spano, the freshman. He's played in about two complete games. Just north of six periods, 10 goals against. Good for a 4.89 goals against average and a 7.37 save percentage. Coach Cunningham said, we cannot afford to continue to let Nathan Petty struggle. And there's no better time than against a team where you're expected to win and win big to get the freshman some experience. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the ice here at AZ Afarino. Three on two for the Guardians, easily poked away by Justin Crookshank. Now Sylvia spinning it to Frank Ayton. Well, the Guardians coming in with a stunning record of 1 and 13. The Boxers in much better shape at 6 and 8. Zach Sylvia with some room, his shot stick saved by Ledoux. This is Jalen Bridges. 
Now to Nick Landry. The Guardians wearing their visiting purple and black jerseys, white numbers. Kind of look like the old school LA Kings jerseys. The boxers in their home whites. Red trim around the black numbers. Crookshank rips one high. There's a little bit of a strategy shift as we see the third line out there now for the boxers. They're going to try to get that line more involved. They played in the JV game on Thursday to get them more experience. That's Nathan El Shami, Nick Landry, and Brendan Palermo. And Coach Cunningham said he'd like to get them going more often. He'd like to be able to roll three lines consistently throughout the remainder of the season and the playoffs. Al Birmingham off the face off around the boards. That's yeah, Crookshank. Intercepted by number seven, Alex Smith, not the quarterback for the now Washington Redskins. And the boxers have a rush up ice. It's Palermo trying to chase it down on the half boards. He does, but loses an edge. Now a shot loose in front. And Ledoux's able to keep it out off his left pad. Icing waved off. Crookshank chases it down. Aiton back on the ice. And Bridges as well. Now Aiton comes away with it. Room in the slot. His shot blocker save Ledoux. Out to Birmingham to Blue Line, softly around for Peyton Sylvie. Now Bridges behind the net. Out to Birmingham with some space off of a Guardian skate. And now St. Peter taking it into the Brockton zone. A shot saved by Spano. He holds on for the faceoff. The first offensive chance is from freshman forward Chris Elaine. The leading scorer for the St. Peter Marion Guardians. Three goals, eight assists. He's got a stick in 11 of the 14 goals that St. Peter Marion has scored this season. Connor Donoghue. Can't keep it in. The Guardians tag up, but Brockton's got clean possession out of their own zone. Brockton's got a real shot to do something special in the next couple weeks. If they get the win, they'll be within three of a postseason berth as this one goes for icing. They've got Durfee down in Fall River on Tuesday night. You can already chalk that one up as a win. Mansfield comes into AZ offering the next Saturday. We'll have that one for you on Brockton Community Access. Brockton going down to the Hornets nest earlier this year, losing seven to one, but they outshot the Hornets by almost a third. El Shami in the corner, backhanding around for Peter Sylvia. Sylvia over to Landry now to the blue line for Zach Sylvia. This one popped up in the slot. The boxers can't get on it. Brockton trying to create some separation. But St. Peter's able to clear out. Brockton takes it right back at the red line. Justin Crookshank in. His shot, pad save, Ledoux out to the blue line for Sylvia. His rebound shot off the chest of Ledoux and scored it all the way into the neutral zone where St. Peter thought they had an opportunity, but 
losing his stick was Elaine. Nick Landry in for the boxers. All the way down, saved, uh, sticked away rather by Spano. Loose in the crease, Spano, after a couple whacks on the stick, covers it up for the faceoff. 9.23 to go in the first period, still scoreless. Palermo loses it, number 16 in Matthew Nuzalillo for the Guardians. It's a four on three up ice for the boxers. Palermo off a stick. Ben Martin now in the slot, and the boxers can't drive it home. And a pad save by Ledoux. Easily the best boxers opportunity so far today. Al Birmingham chasing it down. On the warning track behind Spano. Martin wasn't ready for it. He comes for a change for Peyton Sylvia, Bridges, and Aiton on the ice for Brockton, along with Birmingham and Crookshank. Bridges has it now. Bridges to Aiton. Aiton full head of steam into the Guardians end his shot and a glove save by Ledoux. Eight ten to go in the first. Still scoreless. Brockton trying to get out to a big lead early. And the message here is keep your foot on the gas. Seamus Sheehan sending it around the boards for Brockton now. Bridges down low. Sylvia threw one at net. Aiton tipped it but wide. Now Sylvia's got it from the point trying for a deflection off of Peyton Sylvia. And the Guardians break that one up. Pile up on the far boards. Peyton Sylvia comes away with it. Taken off his stick by Bridges and then St. Peter got a whack on it to send it out into the neutral zone. Now Peyton Sylvia, but St. Peter takes over. Diving was Bridges to create separation. Sylvia tees one up, pops him up off of the pads of Ledoux into the protective netting and a stoppage with 7.14 to go in the first. Sylvia L. Shami and Landry on the ice for the boxers. Peter Sylvia shot and Landry can't get enough air under it. He had a semi open net. This one sent high out all the way down. And it's going to go for an icing against the boxers. Quite the foot race there between Birmingham. And number eight of the Guardians, Connor Donoghue. Birmingham deflected off a couple of sticks towards net. And this one's gonna go for another icing against the Guardians. So 
Six and a half to go in the first period. Still scoreless, the St. Peter Marion Guardians and the Brockton Boxers. Brockton looking to get back in the victory column after a 5-2 blowout courtesy of the Bridgewater Random Trojans. This one hitting the protective netting stoppage and another face off. Else for me, keeping it in the offensive zone momentarily. Now, St. Peter on the other side, a wave. The in front edged off the puck. Now, news of Lillo. Sending it to the half boards. Like the, the big problem with St. Peter here is that I don't think they've got a player that's over 5'6". Brockton has a pretty big team, all things considered. St. Peter is very, very young. There's only two seniors on this roster. They have an eighth grader. Two eighth graders, excuse me. That would be Michael Klute and Matthew Klute. Twins. And the Guardian kicked out of the faceoff dot. Errant whistle. The net didn't come off and it wasn't under Ledoux. <laughs> Sylvia keeping it on the line, sending it far corner. That's Palermo down low. Guardians out into the neutral zone. Zach Sylvia wheeling back, resetting the boxer offense. Now Crookshank. Softly off the boards for Palermo, who's hip checked off the puck. A little give and go behind the Peter Marion net. On the blue line for Crookshank, he shot off a couple of sticks and wide. Still loose, the ref thought about blowing the whistle and said Crookshank can't hold it in at the blue line. This is a fundamentally sound hockey game that we're seeing right now. Eight and deflected off a couple of boxers in front wide. St. Peter might get a shot. No, it's sticked away by Zach Sylvia. Bridges flying around the St. Peter zone. Now Zach Sylvia with space, his shot, and it goes high and wide. Birmingham on the rebound attempt. Now it flutters through the slot all the way to the half boards on the opposite side. Peyton Sylvia breaking it up and trying to create an offensive opportunity for Brockton. He does not. And the Guardians dump it into the Brockton zone and they will go for a full change. A lot of turnovers so far in this one. A shot and a goal. I know it was assisted by Peyton Sylvia. 
I think Bridges is going to be credited with it. So it's Jalen Bridges. His third goal on the year, 13th point, assisted by Peyton Sylvia. And it's 1 0 boxers, 3 10 to go in the first period. Zach Sylvia off the faceoff. Brockton gets another quick one. I'm thinking this one's going to go to Zach Sylvia. We'll wait for the official word. Going to be Frank Aiden assisted by Zach Sylvia and Peyton Sylvia. Peyton's second straight assist. And it's 2 nothing boxers, two goals in about 30 seconds. Sheehan off the glass. Gets it back off of the Guardians, but giving it away now. A saucer pass too high through the slot. Landry comes up with it for Brockton. Crookshank with under two minutes to go. And an offsides called. Kirkshank for Palermo. All the way out to Kirkshank, his shot uh, deflected wide. Ledoux covering it for the faceoff. Two nothing boxers, one nineteen to go in the first period. The goals one to Aiton and one to Bridges. Loose and the goalie's down. It finds its way to the top of the net. And a stoppage. The boxers' points race is as follows Zach Sylvia and then everyone else. Sylvia, 11 goals and now 10 assists for 21 points. The closest boxer is Frank Aiton now with 9 goals and 10 assists. It was a pretty heated goal scoring race there for a while. A few games where Zach Sylvia and 
eight and we're trading blow for blow. We have a penalty against St. Peter Marion. So Voxers on their first power play, Zach Sylvia. Gonna go against Chris Elaine, the leading scorer for St. Peter Marion for holding a shot and a pad save by Ledoux. <laughs> Sylvia tees one up, pad save, rebound all the way. Sylvia follows his shot, gets his own rebound. Five seconds left in the period. Buzzer sounds, first period has come to an end. Brockton will start the second period with a minute and 13 seconds on the power play. They lead two to nothing over the St. Peter, St. Peter Marion Guardians. The goals, one for Frank Ayton, one for Jalen Bridges. Peter Sylvia with assists on each of those. It's two nothing boxers at the end of the first period. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second period action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome back into AZ Off Arena for second period action between the St. Peter Marion Guardians and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the ice. There's been, uh, I don't want to say a lack of action, but it's two nothing boxers, those two goals coming within 15 seconds of each other. One scored at 257, and one scored at 312, remaining in the first period. Brockton on a power play to start this second period, a minute and 13. On uh, that one, there's 28 seconds left now. St. Peter Marion wearing their visiting purple and black jerseys with purple trim around the white numbers. Brockton in their home whites, red trim around the black numbers. Crookshank to Bridges, who's got the first Brockton goal. To Zach Sylvia, back to Bridges. Bridges to the slot for Crookshank. It ramped up off of... LeDuc's stick onto the glass. Power play is over. Kirkshank with a lane to the net, poked away by Ledoux and St. Peter able to clear out. Saved by Ryan Spano, and he holds on for the faceoff. Justin Crookshank has it tapped away by the Guardians. We're going to have a penalty here. It's going to be a hook against Crookshank. I think they're going to call it a high stick. 
against Kirkshank. So he's in the box two minutes. St. Peter Marion's first power play opportunity of the game. Now Frank Etten, full head of steam, two on one. Kicked towards net by Bridges, Ledoux able to save it. Aiden right off the face off and the save by Ledoux, he covers and I'll do it again. Sylvia spinning with it. This shot ramps up high on the glass. Now Aiton has it. Aiton for Bridges, who's forward of the goal line. And Brockton able to keep it in. Shot this one wide off of the stick of Bridges. Now Zach Sylvia has it. Sylvia hooked, and there's not going to be a call. The Guardians took a stick in right across Zach Sylvia's neck, and no call. So there's your threshold for the remainder of this game. Nuzalillo in for the Guardians. Now all the way back to Brendan Krikorian. 45 seconds left on the penalty to Kirkshank. Doesn't seem like this is a power play. It's Brockton's head. Handful more opportunities than the Guardians have. But here's a breakaway for Elaine. He shoots and scores. Chris Elaine, his fourth goal of the year. 25 seconds to go on the penalty to Crookshank. And it's 2-1 to one Guardians. Uh, Brockton on top, excuse me. 2-1 to one Brockton. The Guardians with the latest tally. <laughs> Sylvia off the stick of Ledoux. So it's Chris Elaine assisted by Donoghue and Gary Lorenz. Whistle stoppage. It's gonna be a face off in the neutral zone right in front of the Brockton bench. Icing against the Guardians. St. Peter winning the defensive zone face off, however, unable to get it out. Zach Sylvia able to get it to Palermo. Palermo, you got to pass it. He got a man open on the other side of the slot. He could have fired off a clean shot. And now it's Dante Massaro behind the goal line. Dante backhanding it for Sylvia. Now Birmingham. Up for Dante who can't grab it. Now shot across the slot, Zach Sylvia on the receiving end. 10 minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second period. 2-1 boxers.
This one is going to go for an icing against St. Peter. Bridges trying to fire off a quick shot, unsuccessful in that effort. Aiden in the slot, going down to one knee, gets his own rebound that was deflected away by one of the skates of St. Peter. Now Aiden again, and it's taken by Elaine, the lone goal scorer for the Guardians. Lane shot blocked off of the legs of Peyton Sylvia. Now Crookshank in full head of steam. Loses it, regains composure, loose in the slot. Aiden tried to go for the shot, but he wasn't close enough to the puck. Nine fifteen to go in the second period. Two one boxers. Sylvia for Bridges off the post. A shot, stick save, Spano rebound is loose. It goes to the board, still loose, and now St. Peter sending it out to the blue line. Slap shot saved by Spano. He holds on for the faceoff. Couple of players getting a talking to by the ref. One for each side. I think it was Aiden on the Brockton bench. Now Nathan L. Shami poking it ahead, but broken up. Alex Smith has it, the sophomore. Fluttering all the way in on Spano. And he lets it go for Birmingham. Gonna have a penalty here. And it's gonna be a hook. Salane going again, his second penalty of the game. And the leading scorer for uh, the Guardians in the box for the next two minutes. Aiden in to take the face off, winning it to Bridges, who makes a nice move. Sylvia launching one off of the leg of Crookshank. His shot to the glass. Now Bridges to Sylvia to Peyton. Peyton Sylvia spitting in the faceoff dot. Back to Zach at the blue line. Zach over to Bridges. Bridges back to Zach. Bobbing and weaving now. Crookshank shot. And it's deflected away. And St. Peter clears it out. Sylvia tried to make a nice move, but he forgot the puck and sent all the way down by St. Peter. 103 to go in the penalty, 706 in the period. Bridges shot, blocker save, Ledoux. 
loose in the slot and it's gonna be cleared out by the Guardians here. Sylvia shot, might have hit the blocker of Ledoux to the end boards. Now Sylvia getting his own rebound to the slot and Peyton can't catch up with it, it's in the neutral zone and Brockton will have to tag up. Peyton bobbing and weaving, he is hit after he lost the puck. Now Zach softly off the boards for Frank Aiton. Peyton forward of the goal line. He absolutely lays out Drew Nunemacher. Back to even strength, Elaine trying to get a breakaway. He's gonna be unsuccessful. Aiden spin around shot, no good. And saved by Ledoux on the rebound opportunity for Peyton. St. Peter winning the faceoff, but Birmingham grabs it at the red line. Someone, uh, El Shami collided with Landry, who is a little bit shaken up. Laid off sides, waved off. Landry trying to create the turnover. Does just that. But St. Peter able to take it back without a boxer shot. Five minutes to go in the second period. Back in it shot high. Off the end glass. Rocking slowly but surely through the neutral zone. Landry tried to hold up unsuccessful offsides against Brockton. 4.55 to go in the second. And Brockton hasn't scored since there were two minutes and 57 seconds left in the first period. And 15 seconds before that, Jalen Bridges put one in. Pile up on the far boards, a shot wide for St. Peter. Whistle a stoppage. I believe the puck went into the St. Peter bench. Uh, it was played with a high stick, so the faceoff coming all the way back into the Brockton zone. Ben Martin lost an edge. A shot pad saved by Spano. Two on one for Brockton, Ben Martin and Palermo. Palermo's shot goes wide and he goes hard into the end boards. And an offsides against St. Peter and the Guardians are fired up. They do not agree. Peyton Sylvia on a semi-break, his shot is saved by Ledoux. Where's the puck?
3.46 to go in the second period. 2-1 boxers over the Guardians. Jalen Bridges out to Birmingham. His shot deflected off of Peyton Sylvie's stick and wide. Bridges around for Peyton. Aiton lost a race. Now Sylvie off the glass for Aiton. Peyton Sylvie's shot and a blocker save for Ledoux. Whistle stoppage. We're going to have another penalty against the boxers. It's going to be Sylvia for boarding. They're not going to give Sylvia a major for this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The boxer's best player, Zach Sylvia, in the box. A five-minute major penalty for boarding. So St. Peter on a five-minute power play. Even if they score, the man advantage will continue. The boxer's best player is in the box for boarding. And that's gonna be a slash against Elaine and a few after whistle slashes. Now it's gonna be number 15 headed to the box. Brendan Krikorian, the senior out of Worcester. And that Wipes out the next two minutes of Sylvia's penalty. We're at four on four with two, two, four to go in the second period. Aiden winning the faceoff cleanly back to Crookshank. Now Birmingham shot blocker saved by Ledoux. Bridges to Aiden, his shot, and a boxer goal. It's gonna be Bridges from Aiden. Bridges has his second of the afternoon. Four left on Sylvia's penalty. 140 left on the penalty to Krikorian. Aiden winning the faceoff back to Peyton Sylvia. His shot, glove save by Ledoux. There's too, too many Guardians on the ice. Kirkshank keeping it in. Someone's stick went flying. It belongs to number seven. That's Alex Smith and the stick when it was Deadwood tripped up Bridges. 130 left in the period, 112 on the penalty to Krikorian and three and a half to Zach Sylvia. Rocking cleanly in, shot pad saved by Ledoux. The net is off its moorings.
No stoppage, however. Frank Aiden on sides. His shot off the glove of Ledoux. Now Crookshank with it. Crookshank to Bridges. Bridges to Aiden. His shot off the outside of the apron. Birmingham pounding it back in. 50 seconds in the period. 25 on the penalty to Krikorian. 245 to Zach Sylvia. Now it's El Shami. El Shami trying to make an extra move to get a shot off. Krikorian's penalty is over, but due to the offsetting nature, oh, he's going to come. You got to be more aware than that if you're Krikorian. He just spent an extra 15 seconds in the box. Seven point two left in the period. The puck is stuck in the protective netting. Kirkshank sending it all the way down with one second left. Buzzer sounds and the second period has come to an end. It's three to one, Boxers Bridges adding a tally in the second period. Zach Sylvia in the box for two minutes exactly when the third period begins. It's three to one, Boxers over the St. Peter Marion Guardians. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you third period action right after this. Here's your check. Got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. Nope. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom. That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome back into AZ Alpha Arena for third period action between the St. Peter Marion Guardians and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the ice here at Brockton High School. The score is 3-1, to one, Brockton on top. Should be a lot more than that. Brockton has not played their best game here today, St. Peter. Well... Any game in which they score is certainly a highlight. They've got 15 goals on the year now. One of them here today. Zach Sylvia serving out the remainder of a five minute major penalty. There was exactly two minutes on that to start this third period. It's down to about 33 seconds. A minute and 33 seconds, excuse me. And we're gonna have another penalty. God save the queen. Aiden in the box for a slash. So for those keeping score at home, Brockton's two best players are in the penalty box. 
and it'll be a five on three for the next minute, 23 seconds. What more could the boxers do to help St. Peter draw within one? And a goal. St. Peter off of the faceoff. Number 14, Chris Elaine. And with this one. Don't look now. It's five on four, but Aiden and Sylvia still in the box. Sylvia for the next minute and 16. And Aiden for the next minute, 51. So it's Donahue credited for the goal, assisted by Alex Kopik and Chris Elaine. It's Elaine's 12th point on the year. A shot and a glove save by Spano. Another save by Spano and another face off. Spano tried to grab it, didn't connect with it. Birmingham sends it down the river into the Guardians end of the ice. Fifty-five left on the penalty to Aiton. Zach Sylvia will be coming out of the box at the next stoppage. El Shami. Still on the power play for St. Peter Marion for 25 seconds. Three on two into the boxer's zone. Shot, glove save, Spano. And Zach Sylvia has been freed. Discussion with the Brockton bench over Sylvia and Aiton in the penalty situation. There's 19 seconds left on Aiton's penalty. A lot of confusion on the ice. They're saying Sylvia might have to go to the box because a major penalty can't end on a power play, is what I'm hearing. They wanted to make sure the right kid was out. Quote, unquote. Well, if you think about it, there's 12.42 left in the period, and there was exactly two minutes left on Sylvia's major to start the period. This should be a five-on-four for the next 19 seconds.
This one flew off the rails real quick. This 12.42 left in the third period. We're gonna forget about the remaining 19 seconds on Aiden's penalty. It should be five on four. But okay, on we go. So now Aiden's stuck in the box. If he comes out, it's too many men against the boxers. And he's gonna do just that. And now there's six boxers on the ice. There's no goal and six boxers on the ice. And Aiden's confused coming to the Brockton bench. And Brockton's going to get the too many men call here. While they sort this one out, we're going to step aside. It's three to two boxers. It's 12-15 left in the third period. There's some discussion going on about too many men. We'll be back after this. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey. I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. At work hey or at play, you're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Oh, hey. She's cute. Nice going, man. Things are going great for you. You've earned a night out. Good drinks, good friends. Yeah, we can go ahead and call this a good night. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Not smart. Yeah, I saw that coming. Say goodbye to her. Ouch. That'll hurt your bank account. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. I hope you like eating frozen dinners. Alone. Let's try this again. Smart move because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back into a very confused Asiaf Arena where there's 12.15 left in the third. It's five on five, the penalty benches are empty. It's three, two boxers. We think what happened was the refs made a mistake when St. Peter scored their last goal. It both affected Zach Sylvia's major penalty and Frank Ayton's minor penalty. Whereas there was, if there was a change in manpower, it would have canceled out Ayton's time. And then Zach Sylvia would have come out and a boxer would have had to go to the bench. So the boxers aren't going to be penalized for too many men on the ice because it was the ref's mistake. Got a little bit of a headache from trying to figure that one out. It's 11.45 to go now in the third. Brockton's two best players were just in the box for two minutes and St. Peter could only pot one goal. Sylvia bobbing and weaving and loose and unable to get a stick on it was eight and now off the post. And it's El Shami down low. Rather Peyton Sylvia now bridges in the corner. Bridges looking hard across for Aiton. And it's deflected by the Guardians. And now a two on one for St. Peter Marion. A shot and wide for number eight, Connor Donahue looking for a second of the afternoon.
I'm gonna say that was a clean hit for Zach Sylvia on Elaine who is banged up. And this one fluttered all the way down as Brockton changes out in full. Kirkshank shot blocker save Ledoux. I am looking forward to talking with Coach Chris Cunningham after the conclusion of this one to see what the heck exactly was told to him as an explanation for that colossal shenanigans. 10 minutes to go in the third period, 3-2 boxers. A game in which they should be winning by at least a touchdown. Birmingham keeping it on the blue line and now a three on one for the Guardians. Broken up by Zach Sylvia and a deke and a backhand top shelf for, was that a lane again? We'll await the official scoring but it looks like Krikorian might be credited with this one. 9.45 to go. We have a tie game. It's 3-3. St. Peter's come down back from 3-1. Uh, 2-0 and 3-1 respectively. And now it is all knotted up with 9.45 to go. What a shot by the Guardian. Backhand shelf is tough to do, especially in high school. We have another penalty coming up. Spawn out of the bench for the extra attacker. That goal credited to Alex Smith with the assists going to Paul Weiss and Patrick Weiss. Elongated power play de facto for Brockton. The Guardians finally able to touch up with 8.52. going to be Krikorian headed to the box. I don't know if power plays get more critical than this. 8.52 left in the third. Brockton on a power play for the next two minutes. Eight and Winning the faceoff back to Zach Sylvia. Sylvia, high slot shot, blocked away by a leg of one of the Guardians. Sylvia gets the own rebound in the neutral zone. Backhanding it up to Peyton Sylvia. Now 145 on the power play. Peyton Sylvia on sides. Sending it over to Zach. Zach to Aiton. Aiton's shot sticked away by Ledoux. And Aiton chasing it down in the corner. Zach at the blue line, able to create some space. So he launches a shot, a rebound opportunity. It's loose, nobody knows where it is. And it's sent all the way down the river by the Guardians. 1.15 to go on the boxer power play. Eight minutes left in the third period. Crookshank tripped up from behind, no call. St. Peter sending it all the way down again. Now Aiton will take it for the boxers. Aiton through the neutral zone looking for Crookshank, a half step out of reach. And St. Peter sends it all the way down yet again. 45 seconds left on the power play. Zach Sylvia. Now Jalen Bridges. Bridges leaving it behind for Aiton. Aiden has it sweeped off 
and Zach Silvey able to recover. Zach backhanding it up to Bridges. A shot sticked away by Ledoux. Now Crookshank down low. Peyton Sylvia dancing with it to Crookshank. Loose, and Zach Sylvia is able to keep it in at the blue line. His shot deflected to the end boards. It's stuck on the apron. Puck comes loose, a shot, and a couple of bodies to the half boards. Back to even strength. 6.45 left in the period. A couple of shots on goal for Brockton on the power play. Not the result that they wanted or needed as they were unable to score on the man advantage. Aiton can't gain composure long enough to fire off a shot in the slot. A couple of bodies hit the ice. Peyton with it, spinning, it's taken by Elaine. He sends it all the way down. It's going to be an icing against St. Peter. 5.15 to go in the third. We are all knotted up at three. With the stoppage, Super Bowl prediction time. 31-21, Pats. Gronk's got the second touchdown of the day. You can put money on that. But if you lose it, you didn't get the info from me. Sylvia, bad angle off the boards for El Shami. Shot deflected high into the protective netting. It'll be a face off with 5.42 to go. Neutral zone face-off. The puck sent into the protective netting by the boxers. St. Peter winning the face-off. And now Elaine in again on a semi-break. He's taken down from behind. The two guys go hard into the boards. It's Elaine and, I believe, Crookshank. Uh, discussing whether there's going to be a penalty on this. It was Zach Sylvia. It looks a little bit banged up. There's not going to be a penalty, but Zach Sylvia is hurt as he comes to the Brockton bench. Elaine's shot deflected off a body in front. Getting it the own rebound. His shot now high and wide. St. Peter is pressuring now with five minutes to go. Nick Landry. His shot gloved aside by Ledoux. And St. Peter has it. At least momentarily. Crookshank launches a 75-foot shot. That one was gloved down by Ledoux as well. Four and a half to go in the third period. All knotted up at three. Not where the boxers thought they were going to be at the stage of the game. And icing against the Guardians. Busy slate for BCA Sports this week. This is the fourth of five games tomorrow afternoon over at Staff Gymnasium the game everyone's talking about one versus two Newton North Tigers against the Brockton Boxers men's basketball team it's Peyton Sylvia launches one and it's a two on one for the Guardians the backhand shot saved by Spano diving and unable to cover up the rebound Zach Sylvia 
on it for the boxers. Aiden shot wide. Four minutes to go in the third. And a three on one now, a couple of boxers getting back. But a shot and a goal! St. Peter has their first lead of the afternoon. Three forty-six to go. It's four-three St. Peter. Brockton's going to use their timeout. Three forty-six to go in the third. St. Peter's goal was scored by Alex Smith. Assisted by Matthew Clute, the eighth grader. 3.46 to go. It's 4-3 St. Peter married over the Brockton Boxers. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you the remaining couple of minutes right after this. You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me, your daughter. Remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. More will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key? is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Welcome back to Daisy Alfarina for the remaining 346 of the third period. It's 4-3 St. Peter Mary and the last goal, Alex Smith. The assist to Matthew Clute, the eighth grader, with his second point on the year. Alex Smith, meanwhile, has his third goal of the year, his second of the afternoon. Connor Donahue's got the other tally for the Guardians. Three Brockton goals, two for Jalen Bridges, one for Frank Ayton. Brockton just called their timeout after the fourth Guardians goal. Bridges getting his tire caught up. Now Crookshank can't fire off a shot. Don't have to go, and Brockton's in trouble. This one's going to go. Spano covered that one up. I don't think it was going to make it to the end line for an icing. Justin Crookshank off the boards for Landry. Now tipped up to El Shami, three on two for Brockton. El Shami, backhanded shot wide. 2.15 to go. We will look for Spano to make his charge to the bench within the next half a minute or so. El Shami has it, backhanded up for Peter Sylvia. Spano drifting towards the Brockton bench. Now at the top of his crease. 
Sylvia can't fire off a shot, loose, and a good stop by Ledoux. 156 to go in the third. All eyes are on Ryan Spano, the freshman goalie. And St. Peter's going to call a timeout. 156 to go in the third period. It's 4 3 St. Peter Marion. Who just called a timeout? We'll take a two and be back right after this. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Get caught buzz driving and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back into AZ Farina for the remaining minute and 56. Spano is in his net for the moment. Brockton's a goal down with not much time remaining. And Spano now drifting towards the Brockton bench. Crookshank blew a tire. Now carrying it out into the neutral zone. Spano drifting ever closer to the Brockton bench. Wants to make sure that Brockton has clean possession before he does so. Delayed offsides waved off as Brockton tagged up. Spano makes his charge. Extra attacker on and an empty net for the boxers. It's going to be Al Birmingham, the extra man. There's a four by six hole on one side of the ice. Zach Sylvia's shot, six save. The rebound is loose. So a couple of boxers pounding away and retaining clean possession. But Sylvia oh, is able to keep it in. Nice play by Zach Sylvia. And now St. Peter able to... Carried out into the neutral zone. Sylvia launches a shot off of the mask of Ledoux, who has had a phenomenal game for the Guardians. Is under a minute to go, 50 seconds. Brockton with an empty net. Birmingham firing off a shot. That one went wide. Aiton trying to get it to Bridges, who's got two of the three boxer goals. Peyton Sylvia behind the net, able to grab the puck. Peyton Sylvia now out for Birmingham. In with a shot and a good save off the blocker of Ledoux. Might have hit another body, but into the protective net and clock stops with 30 seconds exactly in the third period. And St. Peter holding on to that one goal lead. They came from came back from 2-0 and 3-1 before taking a 4-3 victory. The Brockton net remains empty. A shot right off the face off, Ledoux covers with 27.9. Aiden to take the face off, and another direct shot, and another stoppage with 25.9. And St. Peter would probably be quite content if we did this 11 or 12 more times and wasted out the remainder of the clock. Pounding away in front, and it stays out as the puck squirted loose. A couple of sticks in the air as Brockton thought they scored. St. Peter was mad that Brockton were pounding away at their goalie's pads. And now a shoving match ensues. This 14 seconds. Brockton's going to send it towards net early and often here. A backhanded shot, pad saved by Ledoux. Now six seconds to go. 
Aiton with it, spinning, trying to get it over to Birmingham. 2-1, the buzzer sounds. And St. Peter with the upset of the century. Here, 4-3, your final score, Alex Smith with two of the four St. Peter Marion goals, Donoghue and Elaine with the others. The boxer scoring, Aiton with the first goal, Bridges with two for the boxers. It's 4-3, your final score, Brockton falling in what we considered a pretty easy matchup for the boxers. St. Peter improves to 2-13 and 13 on the year. They have put up four goals today. They've got 14 on the entire season. You can make that 18 after this one. We're going to go talk to head coach Chris Cunningham. Get caught buzz driving and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here with head coach Chris Cunningham. Chris, a 4-3 uh, defeat in what many consider to be an easy and must win for you guys. Talk about what you saw today. Well, yeah, there is no easy games, uh, but that's what we expected. You know, you, you, tell the, uh, you tell the guys there's no easy games. you got to work hard. You don't want anyone outwork you. But we have the attitude, like, we want to go out there and have an easy game. We want to kind of coast and, and not, not take the game serious, put up points. And, uh, you know, they were warned after the first period. They were warned after the second, and they, they didn't take it at heart. They, they really, the extra stick handling and, and not uh, taking it to the net, you know, I'm very disappointed with our uh, team performance tonight. There was a messy penalty situation. Uh, can you take us through what was said to you by the officials? Uh, they told us that uh, the penalty was up uh, for uh, Frank, Frank Aiden uh, in 119. He had to wait for a whistle. Uh, so it was five on five. So we had five on five. The official in the box didn't let him know, but, you know, Frank should have known that there was five guys on the ice. So they let him out there, and uh, so they blew the whistle dead, and they, they called the goal back. So this puts you in a kind of a tough situation for the remainder of the season to get to that 10-win uh, benchmark to get into the tournament. Talk about what your mindset is going uh, against Durfee and then Mansfield next week. Uh, well, we, we, we had to go 5-2 and two in the last seven games, so uh, losing tonight means we can only afford to lose one more game, and then we're mathematically eliminated. So we've put ourselves in a corner. Spano had a good performance, all things considered. He did let in four goals. Talk about his performance and the mindset behind getting him in there and taking Petty out. Uh, it was just a change, change of pace. We had uh, you know, a three-game skid where we lost three games. Uh, and um, you know, I thought it was just a change of pace. Maybe we'd get the guys to play harder in front of him. I thought he played uh, well enough. Um, we didn't play well enough in front of him. On a positive note, Jalen Bridges, two goals. Talk about his performance. Uh, he plays hard every night, and we try and we try and get him uh, to get more shots. You know, he uh, he led our team in goals last year. He's uh, kind of struggled a little bit on the goals uh, in the goal area. I think he only had two before tonight, so four on the year. Um, you know, but he got two grind goals tonight, and uh, you know he's always working hard. So good things happen when you work hard. Last question: You had to adjust in a major way after Zach Sylvia took a five-minute major call for boarding, and then Aiden as well was in the box for two minutes. That's two of your best players. Uh, how'd you get through that one? Uh, we put uh, Peyton Peyton Sylvia back on D um, and kind of rotated him through, and uh, the the other guys just needed to step up and. Uh, you know, not a key situation, but I thought uh, we kind of made it through and still had an opportunity to, to kind of shut the door, and we didn't. Coach, thank you. We'll see you next week. All right, thank you. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma, too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go long, son! It's always worth it. Whoa! Master! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877 for dad 411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. 
For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.